Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some new dolls to open up and review with you guys. Well, technically they're not new. They're new in box, but these are vintage dolls that I used to have when I was a kid. Um, does anybody remember Secret Central? I loved these dolls when I was a kid. I didn't have very many, but I, I just loved them. And I found these um, online. Somebody was reselling and they were still new in box. And I so had to get them because these were my childhood. Like, I love these dolls. And I can't wait to share them with you guys if you guys never um, heard of them or weren't born when these came out. But yeah, so we have Tanya and Natalie to open up and review. And these ones actually come with a mystery character, which is really cool. I'm hoping it's a boy because they did make boys. Um, So let's look at the packaging. These are so cute. I love this little design and then we have the character down here she is a cheerleader and each doll comes with a secret message and then um it's a big game time who's natalie cheering for and that's probably who's going to be in here it's probably the football jock i'm assuming because there was a football player awesome accessories and here's her in the box and then there's the background and little accessories she comes with and then on the back Yep, it looks like it's going to be a boy. Look. Her name is Natalie. And then she was born on December 14th. Cheering is a real sport. Share snap-on fashions with Natalie because these dolls have snap-on fashions. Find who out whose class sweater I have. Ooh, yep. You know who that belongs to. And this is series... No, I didn't say what series, but this is by Hasbro, guys. And um, this is Sequel Secret Central, and it's class of 04. So these came out in 2004. So I was in, what grade was I in when these came out? I was in like, let's see, fourth. I was in sixth grade when these came out. So, yeah. There's, this one is Natalie. And then let's see, here is, what, was it, what did I say her name was? Lo, Lori? Tanya, 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 oh my gosh. Um, so here's Tanya. Shop till you drop. Here's her. And then here's the back of her case. And her name is Tanya Taylor. September 3rd. That sweater is so 30 seconds ago. I could totally see her saying that. She's definitely the diva of the bunch. The time is running out to pick out the perfect prom dress. Meet this class of secret central yearbook inside. Yeah, it comes with a little yearbook. I forgot about that. <clears throat> and here's her extra accessories. Um, it, the whole premise behind this is like, everyone's got a secret at Cinco, C secret central high. And um, there was like this whole secret going on. So you, each character would come with a secret note. And then you would see what the gossips, the gossips were on each character. And it was really interesting. I loved it. So let's get them open. Um, hopefully these won't be super hard to open because they are old packaging. Um, they are vintage-y. So I don't know how hard they will be to open. And I'm pretty sure the football player's name was Brandon, if I'm not mistaken. Because I did have him. I remember having him. Here's the little yearbook. Oh, I love her. Okay, here she is. Her out. Make sure we don't rip her note. It's tied with... Why did they tape it? I don't know, but... Oh, yep, see, we got the vintage, we got the vintage twisty ties. You know those ties I hate? they don't erode after a while because you know they're they're vintage i mean not vintage but they're you know, they're, they're old but elastics tend to erode but i guess the um metal ties never actually erode which is fine i'm gonna open both dolls together that way it'll be easier to um Move them together. 
Oh, yep, yeah, she did have a um, elastic in her hair. I don't know if you can see that. It did, it did erode. But that's okay. And they taped this in, which I don't know why they taped this in since it's made out of paper. That's not... Here, let's get a good look at the... Now we can see the background better. So here's the background. And see, there's there's Brandon. I believe that's Brandon. And there's their little things. And then the character is hidden inside there. So let's get those out. Oop! Came out like crazy. I'm excited for these. So have you guys ever heard of this line? Um... Did you have them when you were a kid? Did you like them? I had hours and hours of fun playing with these. I mean, I know they didn't have much posability, but back when we were kids, we didn't care about that stuff. It's called use your imagination. See, that's what I don't understand about dolls today, why people have to complain about not having articulation. When we were kids, they did not have articulation and we had fun. I used to play out their stories all the time whenever I was a kid. I, I loved it. Oh, he comes with a note, too. Yep. Here's our mystery character. Alright, there's that box. Now let's get Tanya out. Tanya. Tanya. Sorry about the layer. Tanya's box is a little bit easier to get open, I think. She uses... Yeah, again, they taped the uh, the letter. Oh, let's put Tanya's letter over here so I don't forget which one's hers. Because, heaven forbid, that happens. And then I don't remember whose is whose. Yep, here we go with the twisty ties again. But they had this whole theme song. It was like, secret central high. And kind of like ever after high. I don't know. It, it was like... Who has a secret at Secret Central High or something like that? It was very catchy. I'm still going to have to look up one of their YouTube videos and see if I can find the original theme song. I love or the toy commercial for this toy. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should look it up too because it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's put her over here. Oh, she comes with a cute little BFF. I don't know what her BFF's name is, but and she has a shopping mall as her background. The BFF. Woo! Oh gosh, everything just like flied out. Hold on, I'm almost done. I get the shopping bag out and the stickers. Okay, that should be everything. There we go. Yay. Alright, so here is... What did I say her name was? I forgot her name already. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's Tanya. This one was... What was her name? Hold on. Not Rachel. I, she looks like a Rachel. That's not her name. Uh. What was her name? Natalie. I call her Rachel. She looks like a Rachel. She looks, she looks like a Rachel. Let me open Brandon, I believe. This is Brandon, I believe. We'll find out in a second. Come on, Brandon. There you go. Alright. So here is Natalie. As you can see, her um, elastic corroded in her hair. But she's still super cute, regardless. She's got this big mouth with her teeth showing. And then here's her eyes. 
the green and she's got some pretty purple makeup to match she's got like this dirty blonde hair she's got bangs and they actually stick up these dolls are fully rooted if you guys are curious because you know mini dolls usually don't have that and then she comes with these little pom-poms and here's her little cheer skirt here's her shoes they are tennis shoes of course because you cannot I, that's what I liked about these dolls too. They were more realistic because you know how they make the Rainbow High cheer dolls? They don't have tennis shoes because we have to be a fashion doll. Even though these were fashion dolls and yeah, they had to be more um, realistic because look, these are realistic shoes that you would cheer in. So here she, here she is, Natalie. And she came with a football some tickets to the game and of course her little leatherman jacket which belongs to Brandon and she came with some bleachers and she comes with us she came with a lot and she comes with a school pendant for cheering for in the stands and a water bottle because you can have to be stage hydrated and this one is her note and I will read these notes to you guys if you don't mind and let's look at Brandon Oh wait, yes, yeah, she has a she has an S for Secret Central on her shirt, and yes, this the clothes are removable, and I'm gonna show you how they work in just a minute. Here's Brandon. He's got blue eyes. He's got he's got that typical jock, you know. He does have a little spot here. I see, but he's pretty well rooted considering that one one spot. The hair is nice and um, it's not exactly soft. It's, it's almost nylon-y. Like, this one's softer than his. But, the faces are different, as you can see. But they still have the big heads. And he has his football uniform on. With his cleats. Actually, these aren't cleats, but they are football shoes. Okay. So, oh, she came with the stickers, too. I forgot. Her little stickers that you cut out. Okay, so you can um, take these dolls apart so their heads do come off so that you can interchange their outfits. And so do their shoes. They pop off like brat's feet. Oops. And her skirt just slides off if you wanted to change her skirt. Everything comes off. Um, her body also pops off. So this is just like... Um, those dolls, what were they called? Um, I forgot what those off the hook kind of dolls. This is what they remind me of. But see, everything comes off. So there's the head. And she does have underwear underneath her body. So you could change the fashions out. The boys didn't have as much of a choice as far as fashions. Because there was a limited... You know, of course, there wasn't that many boys in the line. There was, like, four boys, I think. I'll get to that in a second. But, yeah, she, um... I'm gonna have to fix her hair. And her... Let me get her shoes back on. Woo! I used to love reading their notes. That was my favorite part. Because I got to be part of their world. So there's her. And let's see if we can get this tape off here without ripping her note. There we go. Remember when we used to fold our letters like this, though? You guys, I know you do. I don't know if some of you know what I'm talking about. How do you unfold this? I haven't done this in forever. How do you unfold it? I don't know. Alright, oh, here it is. Yes. That's just a piece of paper to keep it in place. It's a really short letter. But. It's on actual, like, fake notebook paper. So. Her letter is to Lucy. That's cute. Lucy. You have to sing at the prom. You know you can do it. Kathy is so gaga for the junior that she can't focus on the band. 
She's all about Jeff and her art. By the way, don't tell anybody about Jeff and Kathy. It's a secret. And they don't know I saw them together after the game on Saturday. I think she wants to keep it quiet because she's a junior. We have to talk to her and see what she's thinking. Have you heard that Dean's taking dance classes? I wonder what he's up to. Gotta go practice my pyramids. Love ya. Love, Natalie. What well, says love? Yeah, Natalie. So this says copyright 2003, but the, um, the, the, the thing for their school is 2004. But here's those two. Now let's read Brandon's. I believe this is Brandon. Let's, I'm about to find out in a second when I open his letter. If this is Brandon or not. Oh, never mind. This isn't Brandon. I thought it was Brandon. This is Jeff. This is Jeff. <gasps> this is Jeff. Guys, this is Jeff. Okay. I thought, who's Brandon? Is Brandon in here? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, Kathy. So what's the latest on the band? Do you really want to quit to be able to go to the prom with me? But I'd be honored to take you. Roro told me that she already found a replacement for you. For the band, that you totally shouldn't worry. I guess that the secret's out, but I'm dying to know what she's planning. She won't tell me. Gotta go practice. I can't wait to see you tonight. Love, Jeff. Oh, look at his little little art. It's so cute. So this is Jeff. I thought his name was Brandon for some reason, but he looks like a Brandon. Just like she looks like a Rachel. But there, there's Jeff, and this one is Natalie. So this was to, to Lucy, and this was to Kathy, and... So, he likes Kathy, and she knows about their secret where they, where he likes Kathy, and he, and she's telling Lucy about Kathy. So, that's pretty cool. Now, here's the yearbook that they come with. Class of 04. And it also acts as a little guide to show you all the other ones that are available. So, here's the set that we have. And they had a car for the prom. This is the other set we have. Oh, that little blonde boy's cute. He reminds me of Cameron. And then it says yearbook. And then here is the yearbook. And it has little autographs in it. That's cute. So this is her yearbook. So there is a Brandon. Yeah, see? There is a Brandon. Rock on, row, row. And then... here this is kind of their little slogan they had when when it came out have you heard every student at secret central knows the secret and it's up to you just to discover them all get to know the coolest classmates around swap stories styles and best of all secrets yep so here's all the characters in the series that we have here so there's ashley bryony brian I, i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong there's Dean, Emma, Lucy Lee, Madison, and here's Natalie, and there's Roro, a.k.a. Rhonda, and there's Tanya, Sarah, ooh, she looks cool, Mag Magenta Morgan, Michael, Jenny, Georgina, Kathy, oh, there's Kathy that we were, that we were just talking about, there's Brandon, oh, yep, there's Brandon. Oh, so there's only two boys. I thought there was more than two. That could have been a second series, though, maybe. I'm thinking of. But there's there's Brandon and... Wait. Oh, there's three boys. Okay. There's Michael, Brandon. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four boys. Okay. Michael, Brandon, Dean, and um, Jeff. So there's four boys. Okay. So there's four boys in that series. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now. Let's get to, uh, what was her name again? Not Rhonda. Oh my goodness, Tanya. Tanya. This is Tanya. There's Tanya. She's really pretty. Look at her, um, she's got that, what's kind of, what's this lipstick called? It's very uh, shiny. It's like, it's metallic-y kind of. She's got green eyes. And then her makeup, 
Um, she does have some eyeshadow, which is um, kind of a nude color. But then she also has eyeshadow with some pink and some orange over the upper lid. Her hair is like this red, bright red color. And it just has some different colors of um, lighter red in it. And then they had this thing to keep it in place. She's wearing a cardigan type of top. So she has like a yellow shirt with these, with a vest on. And then she has these brown boots. There, there she is. She came with this friend right here, which I have no idea who she is. And we're gonna find out when we read her letter. But we're gonna look at her friend anyway. Oh well. Her elastic is actually still good. Are they sisters? Because look, her hair is the same color. But their eyes are totally different colors. She has blue eyes. But they're, um, and she has smaller lips. But the color of their lips are the same. But she has blue eyes. And her um, face makeup is different. So she's got... That glitter above her eye that's a nudie color. And then she has like an orangey color around the actual eye itself. And it goes around. Her top is like so 90s, like 2000s. This little crop top with the little polka dots. And she has capris. Some blue capris. With the little um, wedges that are purple with yellow. And we'll find out her name in a second. And it comes with a clothing rack and a mirror. And it comes with some accessories. It does come with two hangers. Two little hangers that go on the clothing rack. A purse. A belt. And an extra pair of pants. Why do you come with extra pair of pants but no shoes? That made no sense. Yep, she did come with extra pair of pants. Oh. And this really weird bag that says Wet Bunny, which I don't know why it says that. That sounds really disturbing, but maybe that's the name of the the shop that they're shopping in for prom dresses. I don't know. But here's her um here's her stickers. Now let's go ahead and read her her card that she came with. Her, her secret. And I love how each card, I mean note, has different handwriting as well. So it's all different. So she's writing to Roro. It says on here, Rhonda. So maybe that's who her, her BFF is right here, this Rhonda. Okay. The band rocks. I totally see you getting your own music video someday on VTV. <laughs> you are such a star. Have you ever heard Sarah knows something? Someone who is big, who has a big crush on you. Wait, hold on. Sarah knows someone who has a big crush on Brandon. I wonder who it is. I have to talk to Sarah. Gotta go to study tomorrow. History test. BFF. Tanya. P.S. I'm bumming. I can't go to the mall tonight. I have to take the... I don't know what that says. Tori to Spanish class. And drop off the twin tees at soccer. Definitely up for some three mall cateers action this Saturday. Smiley face. So, yeah. This one. This one's from Tanya to... Row, so this is this must be Rhonda. Okay, so that's Rhonda. We have figured that out that that is Rhonda. Okay, so Rhonda's letter. I like the handwriting on this one. I don't. I'm. I'm I. I hate cursive because I. I always 
had a hard time reading cursive. Wait, this isn't Rhonda. Okay, so no, this is not Rhonda. This is um, Tori. Oh, so they are sisters. So this is the little sister. Yep. So this is they are twin sisters. Okay, cool. So, hey, big sis, I wanted to write an official note to tell you I really think you rock. I know that you're having to drive me around to cheerleading practice all over. And I know that you think that Tracy and I get the attention because we're twins. What? I'm so confused on who this is supposed to be now. It, her name's Tori, but these aren't twins? I'm confused. She, she said twins. Okay, I, I don't understand. Somebody clarify this for me. <laughs> because we are twins. And that you hate when we try to fake you out about who's who. I really wanted to let you know that I really look up to you. I wish we were graduating with you too. But not till next year. Gotta go. Mom's calling hugs Tori. So this must be Tori. But we know this is, um, according to the package, that this is Tanya. So are they sisters or, or not? Because she's talking about some girl named Tracy. I don't know. I'm so confused. Somebody clarify that for me because I don't know. So here's the her yearbook. I don't know if it's different than the other one. The autographs are always different though. Let's see. Best of luck in the future, Natalie and stuff. Okay. So let's see. Where's this Tracy girl? Let me see. Is she on the checklist? Where's Tracy? Where's Tracy? Tanya. Madison, Natalie, Lucy. I don't even see Tracy on here. So yeah, she's not even on here. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, uh, class of 05 is next year. So apparently uh, her sister, I guess, or whatever. This is year 04 when they graduated. So these kids are graduating. That's why they're going to prom and stuff. I really like this girl. She is cool looking. I don't know what her name is. Her name is Georgia, Georgina. But yeah, so there's those. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys the articulation because there really isn't any. The only articulation they have is in th at the neck. Because you can, um, that, that, that one's a bad example. Um, because they have the ball joint thing. Not really a ball joint. I don't know what you would call this. I don't know if it's ball joint. It, it's a ball. But I don't think it's a, actually a joint though because you you can kind of pop their heads off but yeah that's the only thing that you can do you can't like you can lay them down like that but they don't they don't have bend bending um elbows or anything so they kind of have limited of mobility so whenever i used to play with them i used to just like you know go like this and be like yeah but i would love to see this come back out not in this way, obviously, <laughs> but I would love to see these redone. I don't think Hasbro's watching, but dude, you should totally bring back Secret Central and then make them a full-size doll. Because, you know, full-size dolls of these with different faces and stuff, you know, because this is totally early 2000s faces. Um, I could totally see this working as a doll line now because it's very modern. Her elastic finally just broke. Um, it's very modern. Because you could totally work with that. We could have cell phones and laptops. And more modern technology. So they probably wouldn't have to come with notes. I, I mean they probably could still come with notes. I mean the whole note thing makes sense. Back in the early 2000s. Because that's what we did. But maybe instead of notes. They come with like. I don't know. Something digital. I don't know. It would it'd be interesting. But I could totally see this reworking. Like, look at her blush on her. She got some major pink blush on her cheeks. Um, but I could totally see this working again. And the art style is the art style is adorable though. Look at this art style. This totally looks like the Lil's Pet Shops. Remember when they made Blythe uh Blythe Little's Pet Shop? 
um, from the show. That's what that looks like. That's probably why I like these. Well, that didn't come out back in the day, but I. That's probably why they remind me of that when when I um had to re get them because I like totally see this as being a little Blythe, Blythe village like. Yeah, this is cute. But yeah, I like these a lot. So what do you guys think about these? Would you buy them? Or if they re um, rebooted these to make them like an actual fashion doll with actual fashions and stuff, would you buy them? I mean, they could totally work, I think. Easily. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please, if you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like videos like these. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.